Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss a scenario based on trigger along with its test class. So requirement is when an opportunity stays is changed. So on opportunity, we have a field called stays. If it is changed from any value to any other value, then we need to create a task record on that opportunity. And after creation of that task, we need to assign it to uh, maybe logged in user or the opportunity owner, right? So we just need to implement a trigger and trigger handler for this. And then I will show you how we can implement the test class so that we can cover the code. So let's jump to developer edition org. So I'm going to implement this code. So first of all, I'm going to open opportunity trigger. So opportunity trigger and its trigger handler are already implemented in my org because I just implemented them to demo you uh, previous examples. So here I'm just going to add one event that is after update. So whenever opportunity will be updated, so we just need to create a new task. So here else if trigger dot is after. So you can see for insert a block is created already for update. There is a block which is uh, checking is before is after as well. So we just need to call a method that will be available under this is after. So it will run in uh, is update and is after context. And don't forget to use this event. If you don't write this event, then your code won't be working, right? So now I'm going to open a trigger handler as well. So inside this trigger handler, you can see three methods are already implemented. So here I'm going to write one more method. So public static void, create task, and uh, we are using it for update. So we just need to receive two parameters. One is a new list and second is old map. So new list will be stored in this OPP list type of uh, type is list of opportunity and old map will be stored in this map, which is of type ID comma opportunity, right? Now inside curly basis, I just need to write the code. So first of all, I'm going to save it. And from here, I will be calling it. So I'm just copying and pasting this statement and the method name is create task, right? So we just need to pass trigger dot new and trigger dot old map. So whenever you update any record, so it's new value, like new state will be available in the trigger.new and it's old state will be available in this trigger.oldmap. And uh, both are available here. So trigger.new will go to OPP list and trigger.oldmap will go to old map. So variable names can be uh, like, you can use any name as per the best practice and you can just write them. So now inside this method, I'm just going to create a list first. So list of task. So I just created a list variable task list of type task. Now I'm going to iterate on OPP list. So for opportunity OPP colon OPP list. Now inside this, I will be writing the code. So first of all, I just need to check whether on update of opportunity record, whether opportunity stays is updated or not. If stays is not updated, then we don't need to run this code. So new stays is available under OPP variable. So I'm just using that obb dot stays name not equals to old map dot get obb dot id and then stays name so here what is happening this old map is containing old values of that updated record so it is a map so that is why i am using get so get basically returns a value associated with a key so key we are passing as opp id right so the 
opportunity ID will be passed as a key and get will be fetching the related opportunity record. And from that, we are just fetching the stage. And this opb.stage name will provide you the new value. So new value is being compared with the old value. If both are not matching. So here what you can do, you can create a new instance of task object. So this way we are creating it. Now we just need to fill the required field. So if you go here, you will find this task tab. And now if you try to create new task, so you will see all the required fields that you need to populate, right? So if I click on save, so here we can see we have subject, then we have status, then we have priority, right? Then we have uh, this name related to, right, these fields, and then we have assigned to. So we just need to populate all these. So one by one, I'm going to demo you. So first of all, we just need to use what ID. So task dot what ID equals to OPP dot ID. So what ID means like with which record this task will be related. So if I take you here under object manager and if I search for task, so here you will find. So just go to fields and relationships and here you will find this what ID. Here you can see related to. Here also we saw, so if I create new task, so related to means with which record it is actually related, right? So this way, what ID means related to, then next is task dot subject. So I'm just writing demo, then task dot priority equals to normal. So priority is a pick list. So any pick list value you can pick, then task dot status equals to not started. So it is also a pick list. So you can pick particular value. Now, next is we need to assign owner ID. So owner ID, we can assign like OPP dot owner ID. So this is one option or what you can do, you can write user info dot get user ID. So this statement will give you the current or logged in user ID. So you can just place this selected information here, right? So a task will be assigned to logged in user. So it depends on the requirement, business requirement, like what user you want to assign uh, for this task, right? So owner can be the opportunity owner, like uh, if you are owning the opportunity, so task will be owned by you. Or if you want to assign different user, so I uh, showed you like how you can assign the ID of the logged in user, right? If you want to assign any other user, like other than owner or logged in user, so in that case, you just need to query that user ID and then you can just pass it here. Now, after this, what I can do, I can just add this task record into the task list. Right, so this for loop is implemented completely and now we just need to check it for null. So task list is empty. If it is not empty, then what we can do, we can just write insert task list, right? So this way this code is implemented whenever you will be changing the stage of particular opportunity. So a related task will be created automatically. So trigger handler is implemented. Trigger is already implemented. Now I'm moving here and going to opportunity, opening an opportunity. And here under activity, you can see there is no task. Now, if I go to details and change the stage. Okay, actually it is already closed one. So let me just pick any other. So I am opening this one. If I go to details, so it is having prospecting as a stage and task is not created. So now I'm going to modify its value from prospecting to value proposition. And I'm clicking on save. If I go to activity, so you can see a demo task is created here. 
if I open it, so you can see the information. So we we just set assigned to as uh, opportunity owner, then subject is demo, priority is normal, status is not started, related to the opportunity ID with, with which it is related. So this way, I hope you understood like through code how we can create task upon update of particular opportunity. Now, after this, we just need to write its test class. So I'm opening the test class, which is already implemented for uh, previous functionalities. So here also what we need to do, we just need to create the opportunity and then we will be updating the opportunity. And then we need to query task, whether uh, related task is available or not. Right. So I'm going to take help uh, from the previous code. So I'm just copying a little bit code. I just paste it. Okay. So we just need to test create task. So here I'm writing create task test, right? So now we just need to create the data. So here you can see list of opportunity OPP list is created. And uh, this loop will be iterating five times, which will be setting all the required fields like name, stays, close date, and amount is optional. If you want to skip, you can. And after that, it is being inserted. Now, after insert, if you want uh, to run that trigger, so what you need to do, you just need to change the value of stage. So what I'm going to do, I'm iterating a for loop on this opportunity list. So here I just need to write opportunity. So opportunity OPP and then colon, then OPP list. So uh, we are just iterating on OPP list. So one by one opportunity will be available uh, in this OPP variable. And now we just need to update the stage. So value and the proposition. So I'm just going to open it. Right, so this way, I just updated each opportunity with particular uh, stage value. And now I can write update OPP list, right? So once this statement will execute, so trigger will be working. And uh, on update of this opportunity, like uh, five opportunities will be updated. So each opportunity will be having a related task, right? So now, what we need to do, we just need to query the related task and we just need to check whether task is created or not. So I am just writing list of task. Task list equals to then select ID from task where. So We need to pick what ID where what ID is equals to OPP list of zero dot ID. So OPP list of zero dot ID means the first opportunity which is available under opportunity OPP list. So if that opportunity's ID is uh, available with any of the task record, it means new task is created. So here we just need to apply assert. So I'm writing system dot assert equals. And here we just need to write except expected or actual. So what we can do, we just need to check null. So instead of assert equals, let's apply assert. And here I can just write task list dot size. So if task list dot size is null, like if it is, if it is returning zero, so this assert will be breaking, otherwise not.
So here uh, we can just add this. Uh, let's say size is equals to zero. So double equals to zero. If task list dot size equals to zero, so in that case uh, it will fire. Or we can we can also check it for null equals to null. So let's keep it to zero as of now. So now I'm going to run the test. Okay, it is failing. So let's check which method is failing. So create task is failing. Assert failed. Okay. So let's write it in different way. So I'm just writing it like not task list dot size. So task list dot size, if it is having size as one, let's say, so not, okay, we just need true and false. Let's apply assert equals. So expected one and uh, actual should be one. So instead of assert, I'm just applying assert equals. So what I'm going to check, uh, like each opportunity will be having one task associated if we update the stage. So if task list dot size is equals to one, and if it is equals to one, then it will pass, otherwise it will fail. So I'm going to run it again. So let me just save it first. So now I'm just clicking on run test and this time you can see it is passing, right? And if I go here and check for the coverage, so you can see this method is completely covered, right? So this way uh, you can just implement the test class for this requirement. So first we implemented, a we created opportunity, then we updated, and then we checked whether related task is created or not. So I hope you understood like uh, how with the help of after update, we can just implement this requirement uh, on opportunity trigger. Thank you.